For this sample, you need two rectangles of fabric. For the outward curve, you're going to take your two pieces of fabric and put them together and trim a gentle curve along one of the long edges and then you will pin that edge. So now we're going to sew the outward curve. Again, the setup is the same as the plain seam. So lined up on the 1.5 except I'm at a bit of an angle. I'm looking at where I'm going to be sewing and making sure the needle's going to be in the fabric when I start. I'm going to start with the three stitches and go backwards. And now I'm going to follow the curve. Now, you can manipulate as you're sewing, and I'm just gently guiding so that I'm keeping my fabric lined up. Now, sometimes when you're learning, it you get off track and you end up going too far or too close to the edge. So another way to do this is if you feel like you're getting a little bit off where you should be, you stop, you turn the balance wheel towards you and lower the needle, and then you can raise your presser foot and you can pivot and readjust your fabric so it's going in the right direction. And so I could do that several times along this curve, lowering the foot and readjusting the line of the fabric. Now this is a very gentle curve that I've put on this piece. So I don't need to do that very much, but if I had a very sharp rounded edge, I would be doing that in order to keep my seam nice and straight. And so then I'm going to finish off and again when I get to the end I'm going to back stitch and you're going to lock your stitches. And uh, you're going to trim your thread ends again on both sides. So essentially what you have here is a plain seam except that it follows a curved edge and sometimes in sewing we do that. When we're sewing uh, sometimes there's a rounded collar or if you're making crafts the feet or uh, arms on a teddy bear, things like that, have rounded edges. To finish off your outward curve, we need to do some trimming on this uh, sample. So you're going to start by doing what is called trimming. And if uh, instructions tell you to trim, you are actually going to cut almost half of your seam allowance. And the seam allowance is the distance between your stitch and the edge of the, of the fabric. So you're going to cut almost half of it off. And then the instructions might tell you to grade the seam. And when we grade the seam, we cut one layer shorter than the other layer. So now we have one shorter than the other one. Uh, and then there's a third step that it might ask you to do. On a curve like this, you might be asked to notch the curve. And all of these steps are done to reduce bulk uh, so that when you flip the fabric right side out, it will lay uh, flatter and neater. Now to do notching, I'm going to show you two ways. The way I usually do it is that I fold the fabric, I hold my shears at an angle, and I snip close to the thread but not through the thread. And then on a curve like this, if it was a, a lot of curve to it, I would put them fairly close together. On a curve like this, they can go further apart. But, and you don't want them too wide. That's about the width that you want. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, you can do it in two steps by snipping like this. Um, but personally, you see how I'm having trouble getting them even to, to get them. To come. I find it much easier to just do the one snip Again, you're angled. I'm making sure that I'm not cutting my thread. And on again, on this curve, four of them is enough for this particular curve. And the reason, again, when you flip this, those edges are going to push together and we'll get a nicer uh, edge along here. But for this sample, again, I want to see your sewing and your clipping, so I want you to just leave it like this when you're done. To complete the outward curve, Press one side, turn it over, press the other, and that is your finished outward curve.